feminine women repel narcissistic men. Hello, my name is Chengi, your dating and relationship expert, head coach and trainer at Black Swan Relationship Academy.com, where we produce courses for you to master your dating and relationship life. You can book a call with us. You can explore the courses and get into the academy and learn all you need to do by yourself. It is all waiting for you at Black Swan RelationshipAcademy.com. All links are in the description below. Today, we're going to be talking about why femininity and feminine practice and feminine energy repels narcissistic men. Now, a lot of us are actually afraid to be feminine because we think, well, if I'm feminine, then I'm going to have to be vulnerable because we know that feminine energy is vulnerable. And of course, now I'm going to attract all the predators in the world, including narcissists, because they prey on the weak. No, actually not. Masculine energy is really attractive to narcissists. Because when a woman is in her masculine energy, she is not in her power base. She's often denying how she feels. She's often trying to find mechanisms to not feel what she feels. She's always, she's often trying to mask her internal realities. She's often so afraid to lose the man in front of her that she doesn't actually verbalize. And that is a perfect cocktail for narcissists. He depends on your ability to never say what you see and feel so that he doesn't have to be empathetic. You see, unlike a sociopath or psychopath, a narcissist, yes, believe it or not, has the capacity for empathy. A, a psychopath, a sociopath, not so much. So the narcissist does not want you to do anything that may trigger empathy in them. They want you to bottle it up, be brave, and take it on board. They would rather you fought with them than really do what I teach the ladies in Black Swan Nation and what I teach you ladies to be vulnerable. What does vulnerability look like? I've done a few videos, but I'm going to go through it again for those of you who are new to my channel. Vulnerability is not purging. It is not sitting in front of a perfect stranger and telling them what happened with the ex-husband or the husband before or the boyfriend before. It is not an opportunity to just purge. It is an opportunity to share your truth, to speak your truth, and to require that there be change or else you will walk away. So, a masculine energy woman who has a point to prove and has to be difficult or hard, when the narcissist begins to gaslight, or to maybe tease them or begin to pull away or do some of the things the narcissist do. She's not gonna sit, the masculine energy woman is gonna bottle it up, take it on, a, on her chin and just pretend like it doesn't bother her. She's gonna begin to play games. Games are what men enjoy and narcissists always win at emotional games. A feminine woman is gonna be vulnerable. She's going to say to him, when you do that, it makes me feel this way. And I would really rather you didn't do that. Eventually, the narcissist is going to disappear. He's going to get tired of having his games pulled out every time. He's going to be exhausted at a woman who sees his games and calls him out. Because the feminine woman is always so in tune with how she feels in every situation and circumstance. At this time, I feel excited, I feel feminine, I'm wearing my puffy, uh, my frum frum is what I call it, but it's actually got a name, a fashion name, and you can look it up in the description link below and go shopping. But my frum frum makes me feel like I'm wearing candy floss and nice and sweet. I am able to appreciate and to really figure out how I feel. I feel great when I'm in front of the camera sharing this knowledge with you. I feel fantastic. I feel feminine. I feel safe. I feel at ease. I feel happy. I'm really aware of how I feel and I will know how I feel when I enter into the room or I start to have an interaction with another person. 
The moment my feelings start to speak to me and is negative, I have two options. I am going to walk away from that person or I am going to verbalize how that person is making me feel. Now I've given you tools on this channel and there is how to talk to men so they listen or in their academy it's a course that you can take with workbooks and everything that will teach you how to actually speak to men. So this video is not really going to cover that in detail but I will give you a tip on this video. All you have to do is caress, co address and correct. A feminine woman does not shy away from addressing how she feels. Emotions are non-negotiable. And your ability to say, actually, that behavior, those words, that situation has made me feel something or the other. And I would really like that to be a correction. So, caress. Uh, hey John, I think you're a fantastic guy. You bring so much joy and happiness to me. But when you laughed at me in front of your friends, it made me feel ashamed and humiliated. That is the piece where vulnerability comes in. You see, it's easy to be like, I don't want you talking to me like that in front of your friends. It's easier to wag the finger and guess what? The narcissist enjoys your pain. But when you openly say, I really felt ashamed and humiliated, then they know that they've been caught. They know that what they intended to create in you, they created and you have the guts to actually come out and say it. He's going to know pretty soon that this is a woman that will never let me get away with emotionally manipulating her or maneuvering her and he'll get bored of you and move on. So whilst we have thought for many years that having our guard up would keep the narcissist away, in fact, being vulnerable, letting him know that his actions are being noted and they're creating this effect. And then we address it. How do we address it? I would like for you not to ever do that again, because if you do, I will know that you're not the man for me, right? We want to address it. We want him to know that this is the way forward, that this must never happen again. Or if he did something that you can correct, you then say, well, I would rather you did A instead of B because that would be easier for me to understand. So you're giving him a set of tools to really figure out how to help and assist both of you move forward. I have been teaching women to do this for a very, very long time, for several years, and it has always worked. It will have two effects. To the masculine high value man, it will be a great opportunity. He will apologize. And he will really welcome the, 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 the corrections. He will really welcome what you think would be best because a masculine man cherishes a woman's emotions. It is the worst thing in the world for him to know that he is bringing harm and pain to his feminine. A narcissist will probably laugh you off, gaslight you, tell you you're being insecure, funny, you want too much, ask too much. You will get pushback of some sort from a narcissist or at least a very toxic person or at least the person that you do not want to spend the rest of your life with because if there is a man I had one of my girls who went on a date and she told a man what she, what she didn't like and he burst out laughing in that moment there was nothing more to say he'd said it all he will never cherish her for her emotions and so ladies this is why I would say to all of you, be your most and best feminine woman. Be passive, patient, and vulnerable. Be vulnerable. You can never be a feminine woman until you have the right relationship with your vulnerability. Now, I know that is a journey. A journey I and my coaches are willing to take with you. A journey the Relationship Academy is willing and ready to take with you. A journey Black Swan Nation is ready and willing to take with you. All you have to do is go to our website, blackswanrelationshipacademy.com and figure out a pathway that best suits your time, your budget, and your current investment into your dating. I'll be happy to have a discovery call with you, as would my coaches. 
and we would help you map out a way in and around the Black Swan universe. And you could possibly become a one-to-one -one client of mine. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. In the meantime, take care of you. Love you lots.